What is going on guys, we have multi, this is uh, Cartoon vs CL and I'll rewatch because I basically record everything of it but there were like people in it and they had bad mic quality so I'm not a fan of that so I'm just gonna redo. Basically um, Cartoon's win con here is like uh, Command Megalari. This might have rest and the clef has heal bill, which is that's probably already found out, that's pretty obvious. Uh, both Mews um, trade knockoffs in a few turns. Yeah, yeah, knockoff, knockoff, and then just both roost. Um, then he goes into his Mew and a Toxic, which is a nice play because it uh, synchronizes the gas room, like it poisons the gas room. So if CL doesn't have a uh, heal bill on his DNC, he doesn't have heal bill at all. So this gas room is toxic for the entire game. So he gets the skull burn on the scum, which is some progress at least. He's gonna force the defog obviously because there's rocks and spike. I think he's just gonna calm him right up. Or what did he do again? Yeah, and then he has to switch because he doesn't want to get poisoned, even though he has healable, he still wanna be like played careful. Yeah, exactly. So he goes for T Spike, I zoom you up. The Mew goes for a knockoff, crit does 33 to the light, he has a defog. So he's gonna start calm mining here, I think. And now he commands again. And and this turn he should have recovered, but he commanded again. I don't know why he did that. So now he's forced out and he uh, has to pass the vision to Lari later or like try to recover up on something. He can't just bring it in like careless. He has to be like um, careful. So he's gonna yeah, pivot into Paxi on the Moonblaze. Nice play. Yeah, but T Spike, I assume, or just scores. Yeah, like scores in case DNC stays. And that's a fine play. If he gets the burn on Mew, it would get synchronized, but it still would be fine. So you can just roost up here with the Skarmory. You guys will later see the Skarmory has Iron Head, but since it's burned, it will not Oko the DNC. Um, I don't even know if this is off power. I was guessing at it here, but just how his team is built. And like you know, Cartoon likes to use stall a lot. I don't like this play where he let this Clef get knocked off here, but he had to let something get knocked. And like the Lottie was too low, so knockoff might have been a roll, so he didn't want to risk that, which is understandable. Uh, so then I think he's going to use Heal Ball here. I wish first, okay. Has that into Mew. Yeah, like Cartoon uses stall a lot. I think he uses it to qualify. That's like. I don't know if he can even use other play styles. So, like, if you're um, CL, you have to expect that. And then you have to, like. Um, I think you sh should pack, like, a heal bomb on. Like, if you have an option on the end, you could use it. Um, so, like. If CL ever knocks off the. The Toxic Packs, then it gets rid of the Shed Shell, and Daggy can potentially trap it. That would be nice for him. So I assume we're gonna see a roost here. He just knocks, okay. So Scam is gonna heal. And never mind, he switched out into um Megalady there. So um now he went for Diamond Storm, he predicted the packs. But he made a nice mid-ground or like nice play into Seismitoad. Throw up a Scald. So this is gonna be a soft build up here, right? So or roost, same thing. forced to heal again and eventually now he reveals uh, iron head i think oh no he roosts okay <laughs> i'm actually not sure if this is spadef scum i haven't run the calc but moonless isn't doing that much considering that scum is like kind of bad spadef it is a good chunk i mean his team is like somewhat annoyed by the nc so iron head makes sense on scum for sure so there he reveals hp fire nice scout into the seismic on the correct turn Yeah, he obviously wants to keep the lefties on the toad. He already lost lefties on like two or three of his months. I think on the on the clef and on the mew. And on the scum he lost the shed shell for a call correctly. So yeah, this is gonna heal up. Oh he scalded again. I thought he would cover first. Yeah, now he has to recover and then he has to switch because Toxic is dragging up. So you can go for heal ball here to get rid of the burn on the scum and on the clef, but he didn't, okay. Yeah, he's not gonna go for rocks, it's too risky with the DNC. He doesn't have to risk it. Is he going for freezes now? Is it just I don't think this is gonna come down to some PP stall eventually, potentially, unless Duck Trio can put him work. Hmm. Like if it's ground C dagger, you can definitely trap 1-1 one, one if it just gets it in on the correct turn. And like a double switch later on. So now he gets up the rocks, knowing that Seal probably won't risk the DNC there. 
Uh, roost up here. Wait, someone's calling me. Sick. Oh. Hello, I'm still recording this. Alright. So you finally got one for heal, but I don't know if I missed any turns. I'm rewatching my turn 64 at the moment. Wait, you're recording both games? Oh, which game? The other game also started? Yeah, so end. Oh. Found no. it? I haven't found it, so I just skipped to turn 75. Now let's watch the Thorwind game. Solwyn versus Rain Master Bird. Okay, so I guess we should join the other call. Let us join the other. Nah, call. they're they're wild, bro. Okay, they're too wild. Okay, but uh, Alal knows all the sets. Yeah, but, but their mics like, are all fucked up. This looks like the team that Blunder brought um, with Specs Kogo, but he has a Dougie instead of I think Lando. Lando. But it's probably different sets. I don't know all the sets. Yeah. Um, Solvent's team. You, you think it's ZX? Huh. Maybe. I've been seeing a lot more ZX's. Yeah, we're gonna go over the stall game later on. That game is not worth being, um... Like, I'm not gonna pay attention to that game. <laughs> like, it's just gonna take forever and the viewers will, like, click X. I'm thinking this is just Scarf Greninja and then potentially you see move Tapu Lele or like Specs Lele. Yeah, uh, it could be. Defense. Actually, yeah, it's like between the Lele and the land of which one is the Z move use, I'm not sure. Yeah, true. Since the Muse already. Yeah, it's Scarf Grin. Since the Muse already um a good Zyga check, the land doesn't have to be defensive. But yeah. It still might make some sense. Hmm. The Pharaoh's definitely Spadev on this team, like... Some people even run like Max Spadev Faro because his team like doesn't really have a good Dark Pool switch in otherwise. Uh, this Kyurem here I think... Is it LO or Life Orb or is it Z move? Hmm. Like it depends on the Coco obviously. Oh god, he got a crit and he's Life Orb. Damn. That really sucks. Mm. Unless he's super fast, Mew, he just dies here. Yeah, and Life Orb usually runs naive anyway. Yeah, plus speed. Like a plus speed, yeah, plus speed. Yeah, the reason why he's so is probably scared to go Ferrothorn because these uh, tend to run HP fire. Yeah, sometimes. And the Ferro gets weakened, then Coco looks annoying if it has HP eyes. Ooh, yeah, I definitely think this one's HP Fire, because look at Scizor. It's a big threat. Yeah, he could also be HP Fire on the Ladi or to lure it. But he just picks off the Mew that crit obviously sucked, but... I mean, the Mew was on the defensive. If he switched in on the Ice Beam, then he had, uh, probably would have spammed Softboard. So, like, there was a chance yeah. that he eventually got frozen. So hard Is that why? Eject Bob Lari into Dougie, okay. I mean, it's, he didn't go Dougie here, but in general, that's like the strategy, okay. Yeah. So that's a nice play he's done there. And go to Cure him here and HP Fire. Yes. Uh, th threaten this with the HP Fire. A uh, Fusion Bolt on the Grand would be Fire Play. Oh my god. Listen to me. I, I told it. I called it. <laughs> um. So that's the play I also made in my league, league match today, but it didn't work that's out. Yeah, Vertex. <laughs> that was a really good play. Mm -hmm. I guess no way Solwyn is sacking his Ferrothorn, so that makes sense. Yeah. I hope the Lottie has Roost or something. Lottie's super low. I think it's Roost, yeah. Yeah, I hope it's not Scarf. Um, he, the, the Doggy might be Scarf. The Lottie already reached the Jack button, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So then it should be Roost, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't know. The Doggy might be Scarf or the Scarf Coco. I don't like that. I don't think he's Scarf Coco. Do you, 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 you think he'd be Scarf Dog? I mean, he's not too weak to Coco. No, he might just not have a scarf, or I don't know. Yeah, it might be ground Z Doug or something. Oh, I was thinking Z Coco, huh? Oh, it could be. Oh, that sucks. That's obviously annoying. But he also got a crit on the Mew, hmm. This one probably made it a bit more. So he could pursue it here. The stone edge is really obvious. Oh, he could also just get up his rocks. Doug is his only rock, I just realized. Yeah, if he sash. Yeah, rocks, if he, rocks would be really nice here. If he sash Doug, he can rock. And then it could stone edge or something. 
if he yeah, has it. Yeah, but I don't think he's staying in on a potential edge. I think he's going like Lando or Ferro. Uh, probably Lando. Yeah. But yeah, he already mm. lost his D4 guy, so like, this is gonna be really uh, annoying for Solwind. When rocks go up, they are here to stay. Oh god, if this is if this is like Sash, he's a Sash or even Ground Demon does a lot to the Pharaoh. Ooh, guess he doesn't want to risk it. Nice play. So I would potentially he can roost here with Kyurem. Risk the gyro. Oh. They usually don't run Jaro anymore, it's that like knockoff power whip, Star Fox leech. But yeah, HP5 is like a set, I guess, also fine play. Yeah. Nice. And you get that crit might have mattered because I think Did that, does that matter? I think it mattered because this is probably mixed with dev. Like he has like no good Ash Green just switch in like opposing Ash Green. So I think this has to yeah, be sure, like Spadev sure. to prevent it from getting the Ash form. I don't know, Kirim was like Kirim hits like 379 or something. Depends if it's mixed Pretty strong. It's mixed special attack. I mean if it's just 88. Yeah, it should be. If it's at 88 Spadev. Ferrothorn spread, and then it might not have mattered. But if it's next, it definitely matter, I think. I, I can't calc right now. Can you calc it? For sure. It for sure, for sure. I don't know if Kyurem has the um, HP fire. Um, this is specs. Let me make a life orb. Oh yeah, that mattered. The seventy-five to eighty-eight. If it's the one sixty-eight in Spadev. And if it's max, careful. Or like, whatever the nature is that plus dev gives. Let me do it sassy for now. Then it would have only done um, 63 to 75. But yeah. Went into late and click psychic. I guess he's scarf. Or nah, if he just wanted he would, to risk he was the tie. He was scarf grin. Oh, he, he, he just could, risked the tie, I guess. Double scarf? I don't know. And that was kind of a ballsy play then. Oh, unless he's double scarf, this was really risky. Yeah, unless he's double scarf. If he's not scarf here, this is gonna get HP fired. Mm hmm. Oh, it looks like it's. Okay. Oh, that's specs? Yeah, it should be specs. Yeah, I think it's specs. That crit's gay too if he dies to rocks. He probably just lived any one hit from Kiro, that's why he brought it in. Yeah, there's been crits left and right. Looks like Coco probably wins. If he gets a little bit chip on Lando for HP Ice. Yeah, but this sometimes doesn't run HP Ice. Ooh. Okay, that means it's probably Rocky, man. If it's Z5, if it's then this Sky just wins. Strike, it's kind of over unless he scouts for it. But even if he scouts for it, he can still go for a regular fly later on the tank. Hmm. Actually, what he could do, if this is Z Fly and he wastes the Z Fly here. He could then go into um, he could go back to Tangros and then go on a Coco on the fly, and then when it goes back, it, the Coco loves to fly and he can go for HP Ice. But HP yeah. doesn't kill from that range anyway. So yeah, I think Lando's just gonna SD here. This Lando's really dangerous, yeah. Does so he fly? Yeah. Oh my Otherwise god, this wins. For him. I don't think that crit matters. He what? just forfeited. I mean, even if he scouted for it... I guess he's talking about the scissor or something. Oh, right, right, right. My bad, my bad. Um, yeah, like... Yeah, he's probably joking exactly. That's what I meant. That's what ABS said. Mm. And that's a cool set. Rock polish, uh, Sky Strike. Yeah, it's annoyed by Subtle Stealer, but... Yeah, actually, his team looks a bit annoyed by Subtle Stealer overall. Yeah. The only is, like, sad why. And, like, Specs Lily obviously weakens it. Mew can whisp it, but like Cecil is like so annoying to this team, especially if it's Spadev, like that, so Ash doesn't get the form. But yeah, mm -hmm. we'll see when game two starts. So we can take a look at this uh, stall game real quick. Let me just skip some turns. Oh, we got a kill, Elfquake on the Gastron. I think this Lottie is just gonna end up winning if he plays it correct. Let me hop back in that game. He's gonna roost here. Um, I'm turn 82, I'm rewatching. <laughs> What name are you on? So I can just. Daddy that. says goodbye. Right. Oh, the next game started between Vertex. Okay, we're just gonna skip through this real quick. So we the Ladi revealed stored power. And it's calm mining up. Okay, but it had to switch again, I don't know why. Because I didn't because I just skipped through. But yeah, we have um Dougie plus Volk. Someone brought the blunder team. Dougie plus Volk is really dangerous. 
Oh, what is? Yeah, I think I had Vertex at the side, the first game, so we're gonna change sides again. Yeah, Vok is definitely a threat. Sylvan said Kyurm couldn't kill me without crit either. Yeah, that obviously he was annoying, yeah, for sure. Um, but like he could have fished for a freeze, but yeah, still. I don't know, he might have changed up some sets to like catch him off guard, but like. Mm -hmm. Um, I can definitely see. I hope it's Scarf Dog too. Yeah, I was about to say Scarf Dog on this team. Mm -hmm. And then Zemo Vladi or what? <laughs> oh, Zemo Folk, obviously, most of the time. Yeah. Um. But Coco is pressured not to click on an electric move too. If yeah, Dougie's if a it, stupid if he Pokemon. Kept its Dagi yeah, is stupid. Dagi is really stupid. Like whenever I use a Coco, I always click u when they have a Dagi because they have, you have to fear that they are Scarf Dagi, so you can never click the electric move. Mm -hmm. SD Scissor on a uh, Vertex? Vertex's side. Yeah, it's also a threat. If it is SD. Oh, I think the Curum is HP Fire right on Blunder's team. No, it's not. Oh, it's not? Oh, yeah, this team is really weak to SD Scissor. I've used it yesterday on the ladder. If it's the team... I think it's HP Fire or Tangrowth, though. Oh. The version that you passed me didn't have HP Fire Tang. Hm. But I don't know, did you yeah. just steal it? Or but did I, think, somebody... I, think somebody, I think somebody said that it was HP Fire. Okay. I heard it somewhere, I don't know. Someone gets the lead right. I mean, what if this is Specs HP fight? It's not, but like, what if? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you can't even, like, go Coco to threaten it, really. Yeah, he doesn't have that much to threaten this. Um, is the Lando Zemo on this team? Uh, yeah, Z Sky Strike. So, yeah, Lando can go for, like. Actually, Lando gets walled by Zap, just kinda, if it's not Rocky. Um... So, this is annoying for Solwind. I mean, like, what does he even go to here? Like, even if he goes Coco and Volt Switch and gets it correct and Volt on the Tangros, and then he goes Lando, that still brings in the Zapdos. If if it's not Rockium, that still doesn't do anything for him. Yeah. Could go Scissor, uh, Curum here and Bluff HP Fire if he doesn't. Or, like, if he has it, he can go for it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Vortex would scout for it, though, and go on to Ladi. Yeah. Or if he just goes Karam and just Ice Beams the Lani. <laughs> Predicting the, yeah, the scout. Yeah, that, that's an option for sure. Yeah, I don't think Solund would keep all the sets the same, honestly. Mm. I think he definitely changed something about it. Yeah, like he's taking so long, so that makes me think that he doesn't have HP fire, or he is caulking something. Might be, or might be bluffing it by letting the timer. Yeah, that's true. He's yeah. actually bluffing. I can definitely see him going for Ice Beam for sure. <laughs> what do you think is the better mid ground? Like Volk maybe? Um, doesn't Volk win later? Yeah, I guess it does. Uh, he could just maybe maybe Tangrowth is a better. If this is Pedefsis and lifts one, which is probably not, then you could just pull a punch. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming Vertex knows the team I mean, though. If it's really HP fire, you don't have a good pivot unless you get it correct and go Larry on the HP fire. But like, the courage plus HP fire Ice Beam is like perfect coverage. So like, you can't really pivot. Oh, he oh, has we did HP. change it. Okay, he's live up. Okay, for a second I thought he was specs. But yeah, I have seen a lot of live up Qum lately. But yeah, this was a nice play because is it in bullet punch range now? I assume it's offensive scissor and it's in range now. Is that offensive damage from Ice Beam? Yeah, we're gonna call that real quick. Uh, so Scissor isn't mega yet, let's say Bulky Swords Dance. Um, that definitely has max HP. Let me see how much... If it has no Spadef, it would have done 33 to 39. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Bulky Scissor, the Bullet Punch only did 56. Like, not max attack, I think, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Kyurum got one kill, but then the Broken One Ducky said hi. Otherwise, they could have kept the Kyurum and came in later on Tangros and roosted. True, yeah, true. Dougie just says no with every nut trap. Um, so imagine, imagine he changed this to Rakium. Yeah, it would be crispy for him. But a defog is coming here, and if it's not Rakium, then he's gonna go to 
Coco Alari. I mean, you can also go um, to Tang and try to knock this. True. But Tang doesn't really do much to Zap. I mean, that. If, if this doesn't have Heat Wave, I guess Tang annoys Zap does. Especially if it has Sludge Bomb. But on this team, it shouldn't be Sludge Bomb because he has a Scissor for Tapu Bulu. But some other teams that are like weak to Bulu, you need Sludge Bomb. Yeah, definitely. You think this is like. Um, Heat Wave or HP Ice? Uh, probably HP Ice. Because Offensive uh -huh. Land is really annoying. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he, Vertex has a Volk, but even his team is kind of weak to Scissor if the Zap does not have Heat Wave, which is like crazy. Like, still yeah, a threat. <laughs> I know. And like, people haven't. Like, it's slowly uh, coming out more, as he says. I know it has yeah. been used a few games in World Cup. Like, he has two of the best light checks, though. Some of the best checks. Zap and Volk, yeah. But if Rocks go up and like, Vol like Volk is not really the best answer. Mm. I wonder if he's actually letting. Okay, he's not. Yeah, so he's now if he's like Specs. I think he's just gonna dazzle and gleam here because he doesn't want to risk the hard doggy. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of no drawback. I mean, it's do it doesn't do that much to Tang. I think it does like 35. Yeah, probably something like that. But that, that's just like a free scissor, kind of. That's That could also risk the burn, too. If he U-turns on the Volk or something. Um, I can see him going for like Roost, scouting the Coco set. Unless T bolt Oko's, but it shouldn't. And Specs does a lot though, I guess. He's all, yeah, I think does like 80. But he's not gonna go for T bolt, I think, when there's a Tang and a Dagi. Yeah, true. I can see him doubling like for a mid ground play. Like, double, he can kinda like double, double into Scissor. Orlando. Here. Okay, oh, what? wait, why? Why didn't he go to uh, Tangros? I guess he just wanted to trap this with Scarf. Is it Scarf? Yeah, it's Scarf. Oh, it's Scarf. Like, the play makes sense because... Yeah, I guess it does. I guess Lai wasn't doing anything. He sacked it and then he got Dougie in for, for free, like, uh, safely. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Dougie in the chat, I guess. I mean, it's getting banned, yeah. like, I don't know. Are we still discussing this? It's pretty obvious. Alright, so if it's Bug Buzz, that's I mean, also a lot of people really are gonna good. vote ban. Yeah. If it's Bug Buzz Volk. I think the Lando still needs a bit of chip though. Oh wait, no, it's um, offensive Lando. I think they run right? HP. Volcarona sometimes runs HP eyes when it's paired with Dagi because yeah, it doesn't have to run HP ground for Tren anymore then. Yeah. But in a cartoon game, I'm just gonna skip through this real quick. I think that the Lati's gonna win eventually, like, it's gonna take a while. Mm. Okay, they're still playing that turn 147. Yeah, no one wants to see that entire game. Like, if there was no other game going on, I would record the entire game, but like. <laughs> mm hmm. Where do you go here? Just Lando? Rocks up again? I mean, Zapdos always defox on Lando anyway, because uh, the pressure is, makes it so that it has more PP. Yeah. Lot is a bit of a threat, though, if Tang gets kind of low. He's just gonna U turn then? Wait, that's risky. I mean, he could also go for a knock if he has that. But that's so risky. What if he gets burned? Hmm. Holy, that's a lot. Yeah, that's that looks like offensive scissor like adamant. I don't really agree with going into Volk there. Because now yeah. the Volk, like, is that is Volk in range of Psyshock now? Mm, I think so. But... In range of Scarf Psyshock. I'm gonna call that real quick. Oh, Corona. Where's Ladios? Okay, so discharges a tank. It's gonna bounce off. And tank is gonna knock. Um, it's just gonna have a para. What? What discharge again? I guess he's going for para. So that makes yeah. He doesn't have heat wave. I don't think he has heat wave. But yeah, pressure is nice. Uh, starting the PP from the tank. Let me just uh, call it the Psyshock. 
So I should have 59 to 70, so it's a roll in Vortex's favor still, but like, yeah. Yeah, actually it's a 70. Yeah, Volk's never gonna set up without taking like a little yeah, bit of a hit. Yeah. So he's gonna start spamming HPIs eventually. Maybe. I mean, the Tangros can't stay in forever. He's um, trying, yeah, so he rules it first because when he would have gotten lower, then the rules would have been too obvious and then he could have off quaked. So now he's in such a range guaranteed and he doesn't get the burn. Yeah. He might bug buzz here break in the uh, because so it might go hard Lottie. True. Does Aptos like walls a lot of his team? A lot of Solon's team, I mean. Now that the two threats are gone. Yeah. I mean if it's as he says it still beats us up unless it gets parried. But yeah, it's gonna get parried, we all know. Or unless it's heat wave. Unless it's heat wave. I don't too. think it is, just from how it has been played. A hard Buggy Z move. MZ? Hard Z move, okay. Right. Bug buzz, Z bug buzz. Alright, that's good for uh, Zapdos. So he's gonna go Tang here, I think. Yeah. You think he would trick? Trick would be a really trick. cool play. Zapdos mm -hmm. also works, but Draco would have done a lot. Is this a roll? Mm, I think it doesn't kill. Why do you go zap over um ten? Maybe it covered the scissor double or it was a roll. Yeah, like what was that, dude? Is he gonna pursue this with Doggy? No, no, that doesn't even kill. He it just loses kill. to scissor now if it's SD. Which it was on the last team. Yeah. He got nervous, it's fine, it's happened. So we're gonna be right back with game three and we're just gonna look real quick what happened game three of what and vertex was vertex, solving. vertex is out vertex is out he just oh. lost two in a row oh fuck i thought he won the first game nah there's oh, he the z strike yeah the z uh, sky strike lando no at the beginning of the first game he had like a good position so i thought he won <laughs> oh fuck, yeah, I'm, I'm going insane. So this skull game made me go insane. CL forfeited this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, record the CL series in a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, I don't know. I was completely going insane there. I don't know. I thought Rodic was up with 1-0 for some reason. Yeah, the ma it was just like a weird... like Because he crit, the Mew, he crit the Mew with Ice Beam and stuff. So I, I just had in my back of my mind that he was up. Mm -hmm. But yeah. um, This was all cool games though. And so on this in Bruna's bracket. Uh, yeah. I kind of feel bad for Vertex. Yeah, like, he could have definitely won, but I completely understand this. Like, I always get nervous when it's like some tour game, even when it's like a baby tour. <laughs> yeah. Like, I respect the players a lot when they, um, people that can perform well, like, in front of this juicy smoke to his chat that is wild. That's definitely nice. I mean, you probably get yeah. used to it when you play a lot. Thank you guys for watching and um, I'm gonna cover this um, stall, the CL cartoon series now. I don't know if they bring stall in game 2 but in game 1 they brought stall. Goodbye. <laughs>